Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the International Math Olympiad Shortlist 2023 problem A4. At first, let's take a look at the problem statement. We are asked to find all functions from the positive reals to the positive reals, satisfying the following inequality p of x, y, which says x times f of x plus f of y is greater than or equal to f squared of x plus y times f of y for all positive real numbers x and y. Here, f to the power of n of x means applying f iteratively n times. When dealing with functional equations, a reasonable first step is to set both variables equal. So let's take a look at p of x, x, which tells us that x times f of x plus f of x is greater than or equal to f squared of x plus x times f of x. Subtracting x times f of x from both sides yields that x f of x is greater than or equal to f squared of x times f of x, which implies that x is greater than or equal to f squared of x. Note that dividing by f of x is possible because we are dealing with positive numbers. Let's make further use of the fact that we are allowed to divide. This can be done by setting x equal to f of y. So by taking a look at p of f of y, y, we get that f squared of y plus f of y is greater than or equal to f to the power of 3 of y plus y. Let's group y and f squared of y together and f of y together with f cubed of y because we already have this inequality. We get that f of y minus f cubed of y is greater than or equal to y minus f squared of y. By our previous inequality here, we know that this term, which I want to denote by epsilon, is greater or equal to zero. We see that we applied f one more time on each term on the left hand side. And therefore, by plugging in f of y, then f squared of y, and so on, we get inductively that f to the power of k of y minus f to the power of k plus 2 of y is greater than or equal to y minus f squared of y. This implies that the sequence y, f squared of y, f to the power of 4 of y, and so on, decreases in every step by at least epsilon. So we get that f to the power of 2k of y is less than or equal to y minus k times epsilon. We see that if epsilon is not equal to zero, then we can take k large enough such that this is less than zero. This is clearly not possible and therefore epsilon greater than zero is a contradiction and we con can conclude that epsilon is equal to zero or in other words f squared of x is equal to x. This simplifies our functional inequality to x times f of x plus f of y is greater than or equal and now we have x plus y times f of y where we can subtract x times f of y to get that x times f of x is greater than or equal to y times f of y. Swapping x and y gives the same inequality the other way around and therefore we must have equality and can conclude that x times f of x is equal to y times f of y. And since this holds for all positive real numbers x and y, we know that this is equal to a positive real constant z. We conclude that all possible solutions are f of x equal to c divided by x for some c in r+. plus. It is left to check that these functions satisfy our inequality. And we can do this, namely, on our left hand side, we have x times c divided by x plus c divided by y, which is equal to c plus cx divided by y. And on our right hand side, we have x plus y times c divided by y, which is equal to x c divided by y plus c. And here we see that both the sides are equal and therefore the inequality holds. Thus, all these functions are solutions and we are done.